Hi everyone, hi every spirit, Daddy here, aka Miss Daddy. I wish you are enjoying your day. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being here. Today I want to talk about the power to say no, the power to reject, the power to not associate and move forward with whatever you are doing and want to do. Why is saying no is so powerful and why it is so essential for us as spirits experiencing any experience, being it human, being it animal, being it a mentality and so forth when we talk about uh, more expanded dimensions because uh, saying no means that we are uh, choosing, we are in a sense uh, putting limits and boundaries on things that we do not want to bring with us, we do not want to keep moving with or we don't want to even bring on our spaceship to continue with our lives, right? Uh, because we as spirits can manifest anything, we can go through anything and it is our choice to bring about something, it is our choice to flourish something, it is our choice to pay attention to something, right? And when we say no, it is a direct, um, a direct uh, affirmation of what you do not want to manifest. It is a direct uh, limit over what you do not want to experience and uh, opening the road for things that you do want to experience. Because when it's too cluttered, when you are saying yes to everything, when you are accepting everything uh, into your space, right, within your life, uh, as a possibility to experience, you are opening yourself for a possibility to uh, experience things that you do not, uh, that do not resonate with the path that you are in right now and that you envision yourself in, right? So you are cluttering too much when you say yes and accept all and anything that you come across, right? So you have to be the one that explores what you want, what you don't want, in order to be able to say no within to any thought, to any feeling, to any mind state that you might be in right now. You have to be able to bring about and uh, to bring about that passion and say no to things that you don't want to continue uh, evolving or paying attention to, right? Because it is indeed our choice. It may seem sometimes too difficult to say no because of the peer pressure. It might be too difficult. Uh, it might seem too difficult to uh, reject something because of the emotional attachment or to, uh, you know, you are so used to something that saying no might seem as a direct attack to that energy, but it is your uh, it is your power to use and it is your ability to uh, cut and be able to move on with your life without a thought or feeling that does not benefit your ultimate journey, right? Your path, whatever you are doing uh, needs a open road to move through. And if you have too many things cluttering it up, once again, if you are saying too many yes to anything, you will be cluttering up your space, aka you will be uh, closing off many roads for yourself. So uh, by you saying no, is you having noses, is you having knowledge over whatever you like, whatever you want to experience, whatever you want to uh, associate yourself with and pay attention to in order to um, uh, say no to things that do not benefit that which you want or desire or see yourself doing uh, in the long run, right? So uh, it always first starts within. You are able to say no to a certain thought pattern that you might be going through. You um, are thinking always when you do a certain um, thing, when you are painting or where you are doing something, you have that thought form, oh, I'm not good enough at this. And you stop yourself through the process. And that itself is already something, if you say no to that, if you're like, no, while you are in the process of thinking that, 
uh, subconsciously you are like pumping yourself up into believing that you are not good enough at doing something you stop yourself right there you become aware right because that's what happens when we as spirits wake up and start to experience and start to create and we become conscious spirits uh, or aware of our own experience and of our own spirit we start to be able to uh, you know bring forward uh, things and existences and uh, my thought my thought process was right uh, you you stop yourself right uh, when you become aware when you are like hold up I'm I'm doing this right I'm I'm obviously uh, stopping myself from doing something and for some reason I, I think I'm stuck in this pattern right but when you become aware of it you are not uh, you are no longer a slave to your own thoughts. You are no longer a slave to that mind state. And you are able to change it and change your shit up uh, to the point where whenever anything that does not benefit your ultimate goal or ultimate passion uh, shows up, you'll be like, no. You know? You're like, oh, I can't do this, la la la. And you're like, no. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? That starts within. And then whenever you go outside and experience certain things, because uh, we can start doing that outside, right? Somebody proposes you, oh, do you want to party up? You want to you wanna come Friday and we're going to have a party here and some shit. And you're like, damn, at Friday, I had this idea of going and uh, doing my paintings, right? And it is your choice to say yes or no to that proposition outside of yourself, right? So you have to be able to say no in order for you to do what you really want to do. You have to be able to sacrifice a possibility, right? Because the world is all possibilities. You can expand and explore anything, right? You as a spirit, you can create anything. And teamwork makes the dream work. So, um, Whenever somebody comes at you with a proposition, you have to analyze. Is this something I want to do? Is this something I want to experience? Is this something I want to put myself into? No matter what happens, right? Uh, let's party. Anything can happen there, right? You can find uh, a, a person that is uh, directly connected to that other person that has that studio that you want. But you don't know that, you know, you, you, you don't come to the party expecting those things. You, you come to the party to have fun and all that shit and the other things happen, right? So you have to be able to like come to a, to a choice and you have to know, okay, do I go to the party or do I work on my painting that I promised myself to do on that Friday, right? So then you have to come to a choice and that is the power that we all hold. The choice to say yes, the choice to say no, and the choice to not respond at all, which many times is an agreement within itself. If you don't respond, many times it's just you accepting a certain reality and going with it. So you have to be aware of all the thought forms and mind processes that you go through, the feelings that you experience, uh, I'm not saying you uh, not experiencing the feelings that you go through, because obviously we all go through many different feelings throughout the day. Uh, the point is for you to be able to assimilate that and see, is this something that I want to continuously experience or is this something that I want to uh, get rid of and be able to transmute that into a better situation. So that is the power that we all hold and the most powerful tool to say no and to discern through, from all possibilities to something that really deserves our attention, really deserves our uh, work and power and, um, you know, the, uh, work that we put in and attention that we put out, right? So make sure to be able to say no to the things that you don't want to experience. Make sure that you are constantly practicing. I notice myself going through this every day, like every time I have, like the major, I wouldn't say majority, but there are many times where I have to bring myself to wherever space I'm at, because many times I might be in a certain space, but uh, I'm working on this, so I have to bring myself back from that mind state and look at whatever is going on. And many times the other way around, I'm too much into here and I'm thinking about something without even realizing it. 
and uh, without me being really aware of something. So many times I notice myself just saying no. What the fuck? Like I'm I'm thinking about something and my spaceship is already going somewhere, right? And I, I catch myself thinking about some stupid shit that doesn't benefit me, my path, my purpose. And I catch myself there and I say, no, this is not where we're going. And then I redirect myself and then we continue going, right? You don't have to always be a control freak, right? Obviously, it's something that uh, might drive you insane if you are always uh, trying to make everything perfect but you have to also be able to come in into that travel journey that you are going through and assert yourself and check yourself often to see where you are headed instead of you letting yourself roam free into all possibilities and so making uh, anything possible which is some, which is good when you, it's something beneficial for you and the spirits around you, aka okay, your soul group, or it is detrimental to you and your soul group if you are not aware of whatever you are doing and you are not able to say no to certain things to bring space for the better things into your life, right? So hopefully this video was interesting, was important, and obviously I know each and every one of us knows this, right? Saying no, it's something so crucial that many times we may not even um, understand how powerful no can be. So make sure that you say no more often and that you are affirming your path each and every time so you are able to be on par with yourself, no matter what you go through, you are always able to uh, be somewhat in control of your own reactions, in control of your own things and um, uh, assuming responsibility for your own shit, right? That's why you say no, because you feel responsible if something happens, you are, you are the one that is responsible for that thing, you are the one that is responsible for your own existence, so your choice matters infinitely and so make sure that you are affirming and asserting your spaceship into the right places for you thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here make sure to check out my link tree in the description down below to check out mine and my amazing partners um uh links to our social media, to our services, so you can check out our products and whatever we have to uh, offer and help evolve and expand our reality as unique and individual spirits. So make sure to support us and make sure to support yourself so to change the world into a better place and create a better world for us to be in so make sure to check us out thank you so much for supporting thank you so much for watching and i wish you say no more often bye bye